All is not what it seems. In the murky London gloom, a knife-wielding gentleman named Jack prowls the midnight streets with his faithful watchdog, Snuff, gathering together the grisly ingredients they will need for an upcoming ancient and unearthly rite. For soon after the death of the moon, black magic will summon the Elder Gods back into the world. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, a.k.a. Himvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Rogers Lasney's A Night in the Lonesome October. The Night in the Lonesome October is a 1993 novel by Rogers Lasney. It is a horror standalone novel by one of the greats of science fiction and fantasy, and you should probably enjoy it, right, if you do read it. Uh, it's actually my least favorite of Lasney I've read. I'll just kind of say that right away. But this story is about Jack and the things he does at night. It's actually told from the perspective of his assistant, which is a dog, Snuff. Uh, Jack may be famous, or an infamous Jack of history, uh, and it is the late Victorian period, hint, hint. Um, there are many archetypal characters, and each seem to have a familiar uh, with high intelligence. This is inspired by Lovecraft, Stoker, Mary Shelley, Conan Doyle, Robert Bloch, Albert Payson, Terhune, and Poe, from when Selazny gets his title, actually. Uh, Poe's Ulalume, or I think that's how you say it, actually, and Lovecraft's Dream Quest of Unknown Cadet are particularly the main inspirations. Uh, it's essentially a love letter to gothic lit, and fans of that will be pleasantly surprised by appearances in this traditional continuation. Uh, I should say, like, later gothic lit, more like decadent type of stuff. Um, the story is about a blue moon falling on Halloween and thinning the fabric in reality so that a portal to the realm of the Great Old Ones can be opened. But you follow the going-ons of these animals, the familiars. Um, I read a chapter a day, and it's a slow setup, that way, it's charming at times, not a favorite. Uh, again, like I said, I enjoyed Others of Lazny more. The chapters are sometimes really short, and then sometimes much longer than that, but, you know, never really what you would call long. Uh, that being said, some scenes are well put together. For example, a conversation in chapter 9 has confused dialogue, so you don't know who is saying what. But it works actually either way, whoever, you know, if one person is saying these lines, or maybe they're saying the other lines, it actually works. So that that's clever. Um... And the gothic and lovecrafting vibes are well done. Uh, I just didn't find the story all that engrossing. Um, but I don't really have much else to say on it, for that matter. I mean, uh, saying much more would really just spoil it. So uh, maybe try it out for yourself. So anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.